Hello, this is a video documentation of my computer science internal assessment and this is an equipment management system I designed specifically for my client Miss Copper who is a teacher in the art department at my school. So I'll be referring constantly to this sticky note over here which includes my assessment criteria and my test plan. So when the program is initiated, the login screen will pop up like, uh, will pop up like this. So according to my test plan, at first I will test the process of creating a new account. So before that, I want to test some data validation, so we will click the sign up button. So since I need the username and password to be able to log in, I have prevented the submission of blank username and password text fields. So I will demonstrate the process now. So as you can see, an error message will pop up. So now it's, uh, I will put something in an username text field and just uh, leave everything else blank. So now it says there's an error again. So even if I fill in the password text field if, and I didn't fill any e in any emails, it will still say that it's an error. So now I will test for an abnormal data in the email text field. So if I put in just a text in the email text field, it will still uh, pop up an error message. So now I will pro put in a proper email and see if it works. So, so yes, it, been, uh, it has been created. So the test has uh, succeeded. So now let's let's test uh, test if the back button transitions back to the login screen. So yeah, it works. So as you can see now. Um, my um, account has been stored in the uh, database and now I will um, uh, test if an incorrect account can log in uh, the program so uh, as you can see an error message will pop up again so now I will enter my correct uh, login credentials so the main dashboard will be displayed and criteria 4 is achieved so now I want to add an equipment so equipment code 1 name pen uh, description cool quantity one from teacher me and classroom one two three so yeah this is the process of adding a new equipment and after we uh and let's add a new another equipment as well so and so and with the same description so um now um you can see in the equipment list um the information of the item has been stored in the table and database and it's displayed and this satisfies criteria two and and it has uh, succeed uh, in testing. I have succeed in testing for uh, adding equipments. So now let's check the database again. And um, the two of the items have been added in the database itself. So first, uh, now I will test the borrow function. So uh, I will test the search function first. So if I put in your, um, an equipment code that is not uh, in the database, it will say no results were found. And now I will search for an, uh, a proper equipment in the database, and the information about the database will appear. So, so now uh, the a student information can be filled over here, which satisfies criteria one. And app, uh, also abnormal data can be tested when I put in uh, um, a text in here, but which is not a correct form of the email. So it will say to uh, uh, tell me to enter a proper email. And now let me put in my email. And I can choose the time to return the uh, to uh, return the item and to borrow the item. So this satisfies criteria seven. Uh, I mean criteria six. And after uh, uh, so now I could I click borrow and it said I borrowed successfully. So now when I click back, um, it uh, so supposed to send an email to my input email to tell me that I have borrowed an item and which this satisfies criteria seven. So now let's check the email. Let's test for the email. So, uh, as you can see, it works, and the email has just been sent to me just now. So now we we'll check the borrowed list in the history uh, in the history screen. So, so as you can see, it has uh, updated the um, item in the borrowed list table, <coughs> and this satisfies criteria five, as it helps the teacher to keep track of all the borrowed requests. And there's also an additional function to add that counts up all the items that borrowed. And as you can see, it works, and there's only one equipment right now. So this may help her in managing storage and so yeah I had succeeded in the test of uh, updating um, uh, a new uh, the information in the borrow list after I borrowed so there's also another function to alert the student and this is to remind the student to return the item and uh, this will satisfy my criteria 3 as the uh, teacher can enter the student email from here to remind the student to return the item when the deadline has come. So 
this uh yeah this is my source area three and after I sent the email a pop-up will appear and now I will test if the uh, my of my if my mailbox is updated and if the email has been sent so as you can see an alert been sent to me saying that uh, I need to return the item so let's borrow another item then this time item two and me again onto three uh yeah and just return it some random day just borrowed and then back and so now we will try to return the item so first I will test if an email that has not borrowed anything can return an item so as you can see here a random email so as you can see a problem will appear and say that it I have not borrowed any equipment so let's put my proper email in here uh, after uh, testing the search function uh, all the relevant information will be displayed I can click return to return the item but first let's check the uh, database for the borrowed uh, table so as you can see the borrowed table has the information about my borrowing equipment uh, my uh, the equipment that I borrowed in here and my information so now we return the item and I will test the search function again to search for another item that I have borrowed and as you can see now it says that I've borrowed everything and I have nothing left to return so now I'll test if the history list actually updates so as you can see everything has been moved from the borrow list to the return list so you can also see from here all the uh, database all the information in the database from the borrow table has been moved to uh, the return table so on uh, th uh, that's it so one other thing I want to um, extend the program on is uh, allow the uh, client to uh, edit the information on the about the equipment and remove the equipment directly uh, from the equipment list if there's a problem with the equipment or uh, the equipment is no longer available so thank you for listening